All right, boys. It's been a while. Sai's not here. He's at work right now. But I am on the hunt for a Toyota Sienna 2011 through 2016. Looking for an intake manifold. Let's see if I can't. Oh, there it is right there. Never mind. Thought this video was going to be a little better than that, walking around looking, but looks like it's sitting right here. Let's see. There's no engines. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm just playing. I'm going to walk around and at least look while I'm here. So far, with like working on my green car and doing the EG DC subframe and the steering rack and all that, I've had really bad luck trying to find parts in these junkyards lately. There are not any Civics anymore. Like there's one CRV, there's a CRV right there. But like aside from that, there's really nothing. Like there's this little EK right here. Ooh, it's got some coilovers on it. Oh man. <laughs> Oh man, that's why I don't buy eBay parts, boys. But yeah, what a shame. There is another Civic up in here, if I'm not mistaken. There's a little CRX. I told Junior to come get this front end, but I don't see the parts at my house and some of the front end's missing, so I'd have to assume he did not come grab it. Dang it, Junior. But anyway, there's a, another Civic, there's an EF. Or is this an Accord? Oh, man. It's like an Accord. Dang. Well, that's too bad. Hey, Boston. If you need some parts for your sister's car, bro, hit me up. Boston, if you're even watching the video right now, you should drop a comment. Yeah, dude, back in high school, coming to these yards, it used to be a lot bigger as far as like inventory and Hondas especially, but that's been like seven, eight years now. It's just not much anymore. It kind of sucks. They got that new shop over here. It's called Intermountain Auto Recycling. So they pretty much just take all the inventory that comes in, all the new cars and take them apart and then put the parts up on the shelves and stuff. So not only do they charge you for taking the parts off, but... <laughs> You don't have the fun of coming in here and looking through stuff anymore, which is kind of unfortunate. Check out this beast. <laughs> I just, uh, well, let's just look at this real quick. But yeah, this is, this is cool. What do you guys think of this? And for people, the things some people do in junkyards just blows my mind. <laughs> yeah. Not really seeing anything on this that's catching my attention. So, it doesn't seem to be anything fancy up in here. Alright, well, guess we'll just keep on walking. Maybe go check out that CRV up there. I need to bring a GoPro and do some POV footage up in here so I don't gotta carry my phone. Yep. All right. Let's keep on moving, I guess. Oh, there's another CRV. Oh, dude, someone just took the rack. Okay, they took the rack. This is what I was talking about. Honda people, dude, they just like, they want stuff, so they just hide them up inside these cars. Like, these are B-series axles. That's a whole all-wheel drive drive shaft right there. But, yeah, dude, so, me and Cy just had this whole debate today, actually. It's kind of funny that I found this rack. But I put a manual EG DC steering rack in my Civic, and I have the EG DC subframe in there as well, so I companioned the two, because I wanted a non-power steering rack. So, I was telling Cy that the power steering racks are a lot different from the non-power steering racks in terms of like the size of the body of it. So, this is a bushing for the passenger side steering rack. So Cy, if you're watching this, that's what I was telling you, buddy. It's crazy. Now we know. It's a helmet. 
for all you autocrossers. There's the cylinder head. I'll need some B-series parts. B-20 block with an oil pan sitting right here. There's quite a few Honda parts sitting over here. Wow. On to the next. Oh, there's another Sienna. has the intake manifold but it's not the right year so that's not gonna work hmm jeez all right well <laughs> you honda guys are ruthless bro make sure this is the one dude it does not get any better than this this is the motor the exact motor and the exact intake manifold that i need that's crazy right here too like on this pallet <laughs> dude that's crazy it does not get any better than that all right i'm gonna set you guys down real quick and uh get this boy yanked off inspection make sure this one's not cracked looks to be in pretty good shape all right i don't want to just throw the bolts on the ground so and i don't need them either i got all the hardware on the car i'm working on so i'm just gonna set all those bolts right there on that piece of motor on the top of the motor and uh, a little bit more respectful than just throwing bolts everywhere literally does not get any easier than that That's crazy. That's funny. And I just realized that there's another van right here with the same intake manifold on it. So just to give you guys an idea of how much of a pain it would have been to take this off. It wouldn't have been bad. I used to do this at Toyota all the time. It paid three and a half hours for intake removal on these Toyota Siennas to do like a spark plug, like a tune up. But see, man, it just would have been like a project. Would have been here for a little while, but thankfully that dude was just chilling there. So. Just gonna go about my day now. But yeah. You guys seem to like all the junkyard videos. I'm not entirely sure. It seems like they get quite a fair amount of views. So if you guys like the junkyard videos or got any suggestions for future junkyard videos, just go ahead and drop it down in the comments. I have no problem coming back to these yards. The only thing is, like I said, they just don't have a whole lot of inventory a lot of the time, so. It's, uh, it's just starting to get a little boring. We need to start going out of state because me and Cy and Mo, we all went to a junk herd in California a couple months ago back in February. Mo's yards are huge, dude. It was muddy. It was so muddy, but really cool experience at least. A little Civic.
little EG Civic sitting right here. Let's see what we're working with. Steering rack's gone. I actually came here the other day and grabbed these compliance bushing bolts. Don't know if you guys can see that, but. Oh, dude, no way. That's another one. All right, guys, I'm gonna set you down again and uh, pull this steering shaft you joint out. See this guy? This is another piece I needed for my Civic. So. Dude, junkyard score. <laughs> That's crazy. Honestly, dude, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So I ordered this part off of eBay. It was a, a Chinese part, like a reman part, I guess, if you will. I ordered it a couple weeks ago. The company of the eBay seller texted me and they were like, hey, we actually don't have any of those in stock. So you're gonna have to order a new one or we'll just get your money back or whatever. Or you can just wait and then we'll send you one when we have one. And I was like, yeah, just go ahead and refund it. So they refunded me. I spent like $50 and still have to wait 30 days to get one over here. So it's pretty cool that I found one local. See a Del Sol? No way. Maybe, just maybe, this is gonna have the bracket I need and we're gonna be dialed. But I think the problem here is gonna be I might not have the tools, so that's gonna suck. Oh, it has the bracket too, dudes. Hang on. Dude, I just now realized too, this is a B16 A3 up in this Del Sol at a junkyard in Idaho. That's crazy. Man, that's sick, that's crazy. I don't think I grabbed the 14 mil for those, uh, for that bracket either, so that's gonna suck. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't have a 14, that sucks. Hmm. Oh, you Honda guys know exactly what I'm checking for right now. <laughs> oh man, that sucks. I only got a 14 on me. I hate asking people to borrow their tools too. Well, shoot. 
Might have to come back tomorrow on my lunch and grab that bracket because I really need that bracket. I have one. I got it from Sai. He said I could use it until I at least replace his because he's not driving that car right now. But all the ones we're finding on eBay are like $100 plus. So, dang. I have to come back. Mike Mix? Is this yours, bro? There's no way I walked right past this. There's no way. Is this yours? Dude, I know you probably don't even watch my videos, but if you do, you gotta comment and let me know if this is your old rig, dude. That's funny. I used to daily drive one of these forever ago. Oh man, I walked right past it too. It was by the CRVs. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, for you guys that don't know, CRV calipers are the same exact part number as JDM Integra Type R calipers. So, if anyone's looking for a cheap way to uh, Type R swap your, your brakes system, that's how you do it. But anyway, I'm probably going to just wrap up the video here. That's some cool find. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one.